It's time! Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Folks, here we go, undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight, and he's enjoying every moment of it. Huge title defense beckons for him tonight. John, he loves where he stands in the sport. He loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet. He knows he's the biggest, he's the strongest, he's the baddest, and he loves it. And he prepares as if he never wants to let that go. This man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of Herb Dean, our third man Ready. in the octagon for this Ready. one. Good. Right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight, to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Oh, that was Lando, yep. Just misses with the left hook. Early connection with the left from the champ. Nice liver shot he has. Fighter blocks the punch. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight. No feeling out process at all. From the moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, and he lands 
another combination here really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Able to block that strike. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Oh, beautifully placed with the left hook counter. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all the strikes. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. You see him put himself into the half guard. Likes the control, yep. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Good punch, land. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, nice counter, yes. Leg kick checked effectively there by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, he's gonna shut your body off. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Straight punch lands. Left hook counter. Oh, and another nice combination, just absolutely picking him apart on the feet. I'd probably be tapping to the strikes. I mean, he is destroying him, but don't sell yourself short. You don't tap the strikes, you go Never. to sleep, John. But this guy has been putting combinations together just so beautifully. I don't know what he can do to try to change this. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Lee. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Down defense is there. Nice uppercut. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's octagon. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking the damage strikes up top. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. Look at the in that kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big shot lands for both guys. Snapped off the jab nicely there. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Left hook counter there, again again. Five minutes in the books. All right, take a seat. Deep breath for me. Breathe. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. I want you to punch him. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. 
this pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Nice crack there. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Nice job on the counter there. And this is really a tried and true counter striker who will try to use the over aggressiveness of his opponents against them. And that's exactly what he did there to great effect. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and the high kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. And that's been a kick out of home on top. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice shot there by the champ. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Nice punch to the head. Beautiful connection lands. Fighting long is the key. Both fighters throwing heat now. Two minutes now to go round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice leg kick. One minute. Lee's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Trying to set up that counterattack. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Ten seconds to go in the round. in the books. Hey, stop. All right, take a seat, bud. Breathe, relax. Get some water and listen up. You felt his power. You're fine. Everything is good, okay? He won the strike in that round, right? All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Yeah. Our next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick the sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. He lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Straight punch, that is useful. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut. Why? Back to his feet. Oh, no. Oh, uppercut. Oh, huge knee. Jab there by Lee. Oh, that's gonna do it! it! Oh my god! I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. And here we go inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 27 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no short.